Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how to create new lists from the Microsoft Lists app. Now, before I actually show you how to do that, I want to show you how we used to create lists in the past. In the past, we used to navigate to the site where you wanted to add a list to. Uh, we would usually, you know, click gear icon, site contents. Uh, this is where it would, you know, show us all the libraries, all the lists, um, um, you know, the different, uh, um, you know, web parts we currently have on our site, and then new, and then you would choose new list uh, and essentially create a list um, either, use, you know, from scratch or by importing from Excel or from an existing list or from a template. Now, the reason I show this to you is because when we create a list from Microsoft List, we have to designate the site where the list will reside on. Uh, at the end of the day, um, if, you, uh, if you create a list from Microsoft List app, it physically has to reside somewhere. And there are only two choices you can make. You can either um, uh, create your own list um, which will ultimately reside in your OneDrive, or you can create a list uh, that will reside on one of the SharePoint sites, probably the most you know, common scenario. So let me uh, navigate to Microsoft Lists. Here we go. Um, so all I did obviously was just click the Lists app from the uh, available apps uh, in the Office 365 uh, app launcher. And now we have this, kind of new interface. This is where you can create new lists from. I have some recent lists I worked uh, with, my favorite list. Um, and let me click the new list button. You kind of get to see the same screen you saw before. We can create a list so many different ways um, and um, or we can create a list from the template. Uh, I'll probably just choose uh, one of the templates just to make it easier. But uh, again, the most important point of this particular video is that the list has to reside somewhere. It cannot just float in space. It uh, either will be your personal list or most likely the list will reside on one of the sites uh, that you share with other team members. So let's just say we maybe, you know, do an employee onboarding list. Here we go. Uh, this is the template uh, that uh, we have uh, been given. We'll use it. Why not? So we'll give it a name, you know, but let's just stay uh, with a default name, um, colors, doesn't really matter. Uh, but very important, this section right here is super, super, super important. This is where you choose where the list will reside. So again, if I choose my list, uh, it's pretty much going to be my personal list, not accessible by anyone else. Uh, I will be able to share it, but again, uh, by default, it's just going to be my own list, uh, will reside in my OneDrive. Uh, if I make any other choices, I have to choose the site where it will reside on. And this is super, super important. And the reason why I started my, my video with, a, uh, with one of my SharePoint sites, because once you put it on this one of the existing sites, it will honor the uh, security of that particular site. So whoever has access to that particular site, so for example, you know, I'll use that a chart team that I showed you previously as an example. If I put the list, uh, um, you know, on that site, that means that whoever has access to the site will have access to the list. And obviously, whoever doesn't have access to that site will not uh, have access to the list. And again, you, you will be able to share it later on uh, and uh, create unique permissions and all that. Um, I actually uh, recorded a separate video on that already. Uh, but, um, you know, think about security uh, when you create your list. That's the most important thing. So let me finish this right here. Let's just save it to this uh, same site. Kind of makes sense, right? Employee onboarding belongs on HR site. Uh, and we can display it on the site navigation. So here we go. And here is our uh, list. And of course, we can now populate it. We can alter columns, all that stuff. Uh, but let me show you what just happened. Let me go to my HR site. So here's my, my the same HR site. If I now refresh the screen, look at this. Here's the same list, the same list we just created right here uh, from Microsoft Lists app. And here we go. It, this is right here, the same list. 
that you see over here, this one, um, you, you kind of see it in the Microsoft Lists interface. And this one, I oh, again, I created from um, Microsoft Lists, but now display it on my HR site. So uh, I can see the same columns, same everything in the context of my HR site. So now this list owners the security uh, of uh, my site. Essentially, whoever has access to my site now has access to, to my list. Uh, and by the way, um, I'm not going to really spend a lot of time on this, but you can share this list with others. Uh, for example, if uh, the site is only accessible by a few team members, but maybe you want to share the list with a few others who have no, who don't have access uh, to the site, you can do so. You can do so, and I actually recorded a separate video on that. You can find it on my YouTube channel. Um, so that's all I wanted to show you today in this particular video. Again, the most important thing uh, is think about security. Uh, think about the site where the list will ultimately reside. Very, very important. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of the day. Goodbye.